Hello and welcome to the Space Invaders Inspired Video Game Tutorial Part 2. In the last video we went ahead and we just created our game shell. So this outer perimeter, the status bar up here where we draw our text and all that fun stuff. As well as actually creating the rectangle for our player along with the variables needed and the first rectangle for our first alien along with the variables needed. In this tutorial, we're going to start to make things move by adding keyboard interactions to allow our player to move left and right. So, how do we do that? Well, if we want our player to move to the left, the only thing that changes about him is his X position, because this is along the X axis. If we want to go up and down, that'd be the Y axis, and if we want him to change in size, that'd be the width and the height. But moving left and right is simply changing the player's X position. So all we need to do is tell the computer that when I press the left arrow on my keyboard, I want the player to move left. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we can't actually do this in draw. We need to add a new function and that is called key pressed. So we're going to type in down here below draw function key pressed, oops, capital P, but that's it. So key press capital P. And what I like to do is when I open my function, I like to immediately enter down a few lines and close the function before I forget. Okay, the forgetting a close bracket is by far the most common mistake anyone makes that I've ever worked with in JavaScript. Now, when I said that out loud, I said, all right, if I press the key, then do this. Well, that means that we're gonna actually have to code an if statement, which is kind of like a mini function. So we type the word if, you'll notice it's blue, just like the word function. Then in the parentheses, you say if what? If I do what? What, what do I need to do? And that's going to be if key code equals equals left underscore arrow. And that is how you code a, or you type a coded key. So any of your coded keys are typed this way, key code equals equals left arrow. Alphanumeric keys like A through Z and all your numbers are coded slightly differently and we'll get to that in a later video when we actually talk about adding rockets. So here is what we do next. We close our if statement, just like you'd close a function, so parenthesis, bracket, and now we say well, what do we want to do? Well, we want our player to move to the left. So that's P1X equals P1X minus P speed. Enter down, close it, and put a close left pressed comment. So this is what an if statement looks like. It's if I do this, then do this all within the parameters of a bracket. Anything that's between these brackets will happen when this if statement happens. Let's press play before we get too far ahead of ourselves. And if I press left, I can't press and hold. I have to rapidly tap the key, but it does move to the left. The reason I can't press and hold is we didn't specify, all right, do this when I'm pressing the key. We just did this. We just said whenever the left key is triggered. So let's actually add uh, what we need to do is we actually need to make this loop, okay? When we talked about earlier in the first video, draw is a looping function. Draw is the only looping function. So if we want this to happen continuously while we're pressing the key, we actually need this to be happening with draw. That doesn't mean that we put the function inside of draw. That would be catastrophic. That means that we actually want to call our functions. So in draw, I like to put up top a, a call looping functions. Let's go ahead and type the name of the function, key pressed, like this. Now we're saying, all right, when draw happens, key press happens, even though key pressed is down here as another function. Let's see what happens when I press the left key now. Okay, one press and it goes on forever. So it's looping, but it's looping forever. So that means that in our actual if statement, we have to say, all right, only do this while the key is pressed. So if key code equals equals left arrow and and key is pressed and and allows you to extend your if statement, key is pressed. That means move when I'm pressing the key and only when I'm pressing the key. Let's try that. 
Ah, beautiful. I can push and release and move to the left. Awesome. Super simple now. We're going to copy this guy. Enter down a couple lines. Paste it. And for the right arrow, all we need to do is say equals equals right underscore arrow. And instead of subtracting p-speed to go to the left, we add p-speed to go to the right. Press play. Beautiful. Now, if I wanted my character to move faster, what would we have to change? P-speed. We made that as a variable. So if you came up here, if you made p-speed 10, super fast. I think that's a little too fast. I'm going to leave mine as three. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to add collisions and firing rockets. I'll see you then.